the city of eternal spring. This is Dalat. In the highlands of southern Vietnam lies this unique city and region. We traded rice patties for tea leaf terraces, beef pho for beef stew, and tropical weather for a cool, temperate climate. Before the break of dawn, we were out the door, bracing against the cold air on our motorbike, and witnessed one of the best sunrise experiences of our lives. Clouds of fog cover the mountain hills like a blanket, creating the picture-perfect postcard we had no idea Dalat could be. We couldn't help but take the motorbike back out for a second day to tour all around the peaceful Duen Lam Lake, which is not even a 15 minute drive from Dalat city center. It was the first time ever where we just let the road take us to where it leads with no need to rush to a destination. Quiet lakesides to French historical landmarks, we felt like we entered a never ending Monet painting and the laid back atmosphere in which we quietly sipped our teas and Vietnamese coffees truly gave us permission to relax and see where Dalat took us. We start our journey with an early 4 a.m. wake up to reach the Khao Dat Tea Village before sunrise. morning from Dalat. We are so excited to be joining in this part of Vietnam. We actually rented a scooter from our hotel at 4.30 in the morning. We were driving in the dark and in the fog, which is a little bit sketchy and actually really cold. We did not expect it being the southern part here, but we finally made it out to Khao Dat Tea Village and it was absolutely mind-blowing. We made it here when the colors were popping before the sun was rising. Those clouds rolling on the hills was beyond what we expected. northern part of Vietnam. A lot of times we would look at the photos, but once we got there, it didn't quite live up to expectations. But here in Dalat, in this morning, oh man, the views were literally better than what we've seen online. As you guys saw from the footage, it was so beautiful. I honestly wish it could last forever, but Lauren here is extremely cold. So we're gonna go warm up with a little coffee. The owner of the cafe actually brought us a teapot for us to warm up before the coffees. And I think this tea is one of my favorites. It's oolong, I believe, and it's so nice and sweet, lightly sweetened. And I gotta say, I wonder if these are the tea leaves that they're growing out there. My Vietnamese coffee has now arrived. I got the bak xiu, which is the white coffee as they call it. So you have some condensed milk, a little bit of regular milk, along with your Vietnamese coffee. And wow, there's always something so fragrant and bold about the coffee that I'm absolutely addicted to. Of course, we still have the beautiful view of the town along with the tea leaf terraces. This coffee is gonna make us pretty hungry. So let's go and grab some breakfast right after this. So we found this really local noodle shop called Phu 68. We are definitely the only foreigners in here. And right up there on the sheet of paper are six different menu items. We can't read it at all and we have no idea what the prices are, but we did manage to order something. Yeah, the thing is when we punched them into Google Translate, they came up as beef noodle soup, like almost all of them did. 
So we decided to go for something that looks a little bit different when we looked it up on Google Images, and it looks so good. It's got this like carrot red broth. The noodles look delicious, and there's a lot of beef tendon in here, which Jason absolutely loves. After a solid one and a half hour motorbike on our trusty little scooter, we finally made it to our second stop, which is called Pongur Waterfall. I think that is how you pronounce it. So now there is an interest fee, a cost of 20,000 Vietnamese dong per person, along with 5,000 for the motorbike. So right now we are at the motorbike parking area, and then we just walk down there to see the waterfalls. Now we're currently trekking down to the waterfall. We can already hear the rushing water and the steps are fairly paved so it's easy to get down there, but it's not as close as you might expect it to be. After trekking down some stairs, we finally made it to Pongur Falls. It's honestly so beautiful, but it almost looks fake because the cascading waterfalls through the different rock levels, it almost looks too perfect. That's how amazing it looks here. We're gonna go explore around a little bit and hopefully catch some different views from different vantage points. After hiking up those stairs, wow, we're literally starting to sweat. It got so hot all of a sudden. Yeah, you know, it's kind of frustrating is the fact that we are not dressed for either of the times that we were out today. In the morning, it was so cold, especially driving through the fog and the wind was just blowing. And now there's like barely any breeze and it's so hot. I think that's the thing about subtropical weather is that it just varies so much throughout the day. It really does. Freezing in the morning, hot in the afternoon. All right. Oh, there's some more stairs coming up. <laughs> Even more sweat. Let's head over to the next spot. The next stop on a little self-guided motorcycle tour through the lot is Elephant Falls. It's actually really cool. It's about 30,000 VND per person. And right now you can see from the top of the falls and I believe you can actually hike downwards to get the view from the bottom. It's our second day of exploring Dalat and we started on the north side of Twin Lam Lake. It's actually so peaceful here. The water is so calm and you can actually see there are two different wedding couples getting photos done. There's one doing their photo sesh on that rustic boat over there. It's so adorable.
Right beside the lake, we found this really cute cafe. I'm not gonna try to say the name because I know I'm gonna butcher it, but it has a gorgeous view of the water along with the hills. We got some Vietnamese iced coffees, our favorite. And one thing we noticed, just like yesterday, they always serve tea along with whatever you order. And this time they came out with little jasmine tea and it smells amazing. So for breakfast, we found this little bumble way shop and it's honestly one of my favorite breakfast items next to beef pho. And it's so affordable at only 30,000 dong per bowl. For us, we love just finding these more local hole-in-the-wall shops because the food just tastes amazing. There is so much meat in here, which I did not expect for only 30k. This is by far the cheapest noodle soup that we've ever had. Mm. The noodles are so bouncy. The broth is so good. I can definitely understand why this is my dad's favorite Vietnamese soup. And then if you wanted to add some flavor, although I think it's already perfect, you can add some right here with these condiments, some chilies as well, just to add a little bit of spice, but it's so rich already. It's actually so beautiful getting to ride along the lake, getting to see the views. We think this is such a great activity to do during the day. Go run yourself a scooter, motorbike, whatever you want to call it. Just go and cruise along. I think that's going to be our game plan for the majority of our day. We're actually going to try to ride along the entire lake and hopefully catch some amazing views along the way. We traded nature for history and we are at the Talat train station. It was built in 1938 and it's a piece of French architecture that still maintains to this day. Our final stop, we are spending the evening at the Suan Hung Lake, which is at the heart of Dalat City. We're actually located at the Lam Bien Square, which is one of the best places to see the lake. We can see all of those swan paddle boats out there, and it's so enjoyable being able to see all the kids rollerblading in the square, playing with bubbles, and it's actually so great to see this. All the locals have come out on a Sunday evening to enjoy the sunset over here. The lot really surprised us with how beautiful it was. We honestly didn't know what we expected coming into the city, but wow, this quickly became one of our favorite destinations here in Vietnam. But our ventures in this country are not finished yet. Join us next time as we head over to the island of Phu Quoc.